Hey, and welcome to C-Squared Artistry. Today I'm gonna to show you guys what I typically bring with me in terms of makeup when I'm traveling. So if you wanna see what I have in my little travel kit, then keep watching. So to start off, I pack two separate bags of makeup items. The big one has my foundation and things that I'm gonna use just one time in the morning. And the little one has my essentials that I put in my purse that I can use for touch-ups throughout the day. So let's start with the first one. So the first thing that you want to pack are brushes. These are really essential because without brushes, you can't put your makeup on. This is a small travel brush set that I've had for years. It's by Royal and Lang Nickel, and it comes with a really nice um, set of brushes. You have your powder brush, foundation brush, and then several eye brushes and they have double sides so you can use them for multiple things. Even though this is a nice little set, I do have a few brushes that I just personally like to use on a regular basis and they just kind of make a big difference for me. So this is the big powder brush that I typically will bring and use. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush and then I also take this foundation brush from um, Real Techniques. And I use this big fluffy brush from Real Techniques for my blush because it fits my cheek just perfectly. And so I like that. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. This is by Sigma. And then I just have this little sample. This was a brush, a small sample brush from Sigma as well. And it just applies color really nicely. And then lastly, I have my favorite Laura Mercier dual-sided um, cream brush that I use to put on my base and anything that's wet and creamy. And of course, an angled brush to be able to apply my brow powder. So brushes are essential. You don't have to bring all of those. That's just what I bring because there are certain ones that I really like and I think it makes a big difference. The next thing that I do is I bring a separate baggie with my face and skin. Uh, products. So in here I actually have a product that I use by um, Natural Born Cosmetics. It's a liquid powder anti-shine. This is great. It acts as a primer. I'm very oily so I apply this on my cheeks and my t-zone, uh, forehead, my nose, and my chin to ensure that I don't get shiny throughout the day and it really really works. So if you guys want to find out more about this look in the description box and be sure to check them out online. You can't go to the store um, because it's in Virginia, unless you live in Virginia, but online they ship all over the country. So the next thing that I will carry is my concealer. So I am a new member of Melaleuca, and if you haven't heard of Melaleuca, you should definitely check it out. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below. But they sell toxic-free, clean products, household products, makeup, deodorant, you name it, they sell it. And I decided to go ahead and start transitioning my makeup to something that's a little bit more clean and toxic-free. And so I'm trying their new um, product called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Cybella. And this is their concealer. It comes in a pen form, so it's really easy to put on. And I've been loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm also using their mineral powder. And it is a loose mineral powder. Um, next time I'll probably get the pressed powder so that I can take it with me more places and it's a little bit easier to use on the go. But it has a nice finish. This is what I'm wearing today. And I really like the way that it finishes on me. I'm also gonna carry my MAC Match Master. I'm almost done with this, um, but I have to say, you know, I love this stuff. It really looks great on my skin, so I keep wearing it. <laughs> but Match Master is one of my favorite products for sure, and um, I still got some in here, so I'm gonna finish this up. But I ta I'll take this in case um, we go to any kind of more formal events and I need or want a more full face application. And then lastly, my brow powder. This is my brow powder. Um, I honestly, this is an Ardell, Ardell brow powder. So I take that with me because you gotta make sure that the brows are on point, right? All right, so that's my little separate baggie of kind of face product foundations. I'm also gonna bring with me my NYX eyeshadow base because I'm not gonna be touching up my makeup throughout the day. Um, we're kind of going to a convention, so I wanna make sure that whatever I put on, it stays and I don't have to worry about touching it up so a base is, is essential and for blush I'm going to be using my MAC Raisin 
you know, good old faithful raisin. I'm wearing that today as well. It kind of goes with anything. And then for eyeshadow, this is a um, eyeshadow palette that is no longer available, but I will definitely say that if you want something compact and you want to find like a quad like this, this quad is great because it has a nice dark shadow that you can use for a smoky eye, which you can see on this side, I went super smoky. And then um, on this side, I kind of decided to go a little bit lighter and I used that golden color and just a little bit of the black, but just I blended it. And on the inner tear duct of my eye, I use that light shade. So I can get a couple of different looks with this palette. And so I really like that. So anything that is nice and neutral and that's going to allow you to get a variety of looks with the palette that you have, you want to go with something like that. And remember, the key is placement. I place that black here, but I also place it here. And you can see there are two different eyes, two different complete looks, but because of the placement and the focus and intensity of this particular application point, this eye has a little bit more of a smoky, kind of sultry look that's great for evening. And then lastly, I'm also bringing a little bit of a highlight powder. This is a bronze, golden bronze, um, loose shimmer that I'm gonna bring. I like to put that on the tip of my nose and the bow of my lip and right on the high points of my cheek for a little bit of a highlight. Okay, the other thing that I carry is in my little small bag. So this one is what I put in my purse and I like to carry a liquid eyeliner because that's always great if you're not doing a lot of makeup but you just want a quick look. And I actually did a look that's over on my Instagram a couple weeks ago so you can go on my Instagram at Art to see that picture. Mascara is a must. And then I have a pencil liner, a black pencil lip balm and a neutral gloss and then also a more uh, like a pinky gloss. This is Oyster Girl by MAC and um, this is a honey bronze lip gloss by Body Shop. And then of course I want to bring two lip colors because you just never know what you're going to be going to and you want to make sure that you have some variety. So I have a gloss that's a little bit more soft and neutral which is Sis. By Mac and then I also have this one is uh, fat out fab fat flat out fabulous say that three times and so it kind of has a nice pinky tone and then of course I have my liners to go with it so I have my night moth and my chestnut liner and in my little um, my small kit I also bring a brow groomer just to keep those brows in check and I also bring a cuticle um, oil this is great because it's an easy kind of brush on cuticle cream and you just place it right there on the cuticles. It helps to keep the nails and the cuticle bed nice and moisturized. It's by Sally Henson and it is called Cuticle Rehab. You can get that from any drugstore and um, yeah. So the final thing that I will say is when I go out of town, which isn't often, but I really um, think it's a great opportunity to try out new products personally. If your skin is very sensitive and you're unsure about how your skin is going to really respond to something, maybe it's not the best idea for you. But for me, I don't know if it's just the idea of being in a hotel and kind of in a restful place that I just like to kind of pamper myself. So on this trip, I'm going to be trying the um, Alcone Limelight um, samples that I got from one of our um, beauty and confidence motivational workshop attendees and so I'm going to be trying some of her samples out and um, we'll see. There's a mask, there is um, a cleanser, a moisturizer, you know just an opportunity for me to kind of try it out. We're going to be gone for several days so I'm going to get a chance to try it out, see if I like it and um, also just kind of pamper myself. So that's it you guys for what I'm bringing with me on my travel kit for my makeup. Uh, this may be a lot for some, it may be a little for others, but for me I think it's just enough and like I said it's nice to have two separate bags so that you can have one with your full kind of full face makeup and another that you can toss in your purse just for touch ups on the go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Be sure to subscribe and share this with all your friends. Bye!